I'm John Kramer, this is Political Fubar, and right now Chicago is looking effed up beyond all recognition. Political Fubar. Now today the big story in the union movement is the Wisconsin recall election of Governor Scott Walker, but tomorrow, once the dust has settled in Madison, the union limelight is likely to switch over to Chicago, where the Chicago Teachers Union will be voting to authorize a strike in the fall. And disclaimer, I have been following this story closely because my wife is in fact a Chicago public schools teacher. Now, they are taking this vote because Rahm Emanuel wants to increase the length of the school day, but he's offering next to nothing to compensate the teachers for the extra hours and in fact took away the scheduled 4% pay increase their contract had stipulated for this past year. Or simply put, he's asking them to work four or five extra hours a week, and he's asking them to do it for less money than they were supposed to be earning today. And despite the efforts of conservative uh, anti-union groups, which have helped to pass a law in Illinois requiring a 75% yes vote to authorize a strike, it's looking very much like the union will hit or exceed that mark. Side note, the independent arbitrator looking into all this will release a report in July, and Rahm wants the teachers to hold off on their vote until then, when of course many of their members will be out of town and unable to vote, which means that they will be automatically counted as no votes, making it almost impossible to hit 75%. So you can forget about that, all of which has Mayor Rahm Emanuel more than a little bit unhappy and President Obama potentially weakened by the threat of a strike come the fall and the election. I mean, seriously, Obama cannot want to see his former chief of staff locked in a battle with a teacher's union in his own backyard on the eve of an election, especially since those teachers have traditionally been huge resources within the Democratic Party that have been called upon to operate phone banks and do fundraising efforts and get out the vote. And to me, the really stupid thing about all of this is that the teachers' union wasn't really against the idea of lengthening the school year, and most of those issues could have been solved given a little time and negotiations, except that Rahm Emanuel wants what he wants when he wants it. So, as things now stand without a contract, no one knows what the school year in Chicago will look like come the fall, or what time of day it will start or end, or what the class sizes will be, or what the effect of releasing thousands of high school students later in the afternoon during rush hour. At the same time, Rahm has also announced the closure for five months of nine major train stations on the CTA red line. Assuming, of course, that the schools are actually opened in the fall and you don't see picket lines out in front of Obama campaign headquarters in the loop. And that would be FUBAR. <laughs>